we are pretty excited around here to talk to our next guest. One Yankees baseball legend, Bernie Williams. He's sitting right next to me. The other multi-platinum recording artist, Jordan Sparks. Why are we talking to these two? Because they have teamed up to make music, and they're doing it to raise awareness for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, a disease that took Bernie's father. We have an exclusive first look here and first listen to the song. Check this out. And here to tell us all about the song and the story behind it, there they are, Bernie Williams, Jordan Sparks. And I intentionally, when I introduced you, Bernie, I called you baseball legend, but for folks that don't know, also a musician, not just the guy who dabbles, a trained musician. Tell folks again how, when you started playing, you were eight. That is correct. I was eight years old. Okay. I took you know lessons with the neighborhood teacher. Then I went to a performing arts high school, four mm -hmm. years. And then after I retired, I went to the Manhattan School of Music and graduated with a degree in jazz performance. Yes, he's not just dad. Dabbling, folks, okay? <laughs> this man is a trained artist here. Jordan, let me bring you in, but still, we hear that, but how in the world did you two end up collaborating? Well, it, it was all about... You know Boy, hold up. Jo yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's oh, all right. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. It's not my turn. It's yes. not my turn. <laughs> I thought you were a good teammate here, know, Bernie. Come I on know. now. Uh, I'm no. a little rusty. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> but, but, Jordan, yes, my question to you, Jordan, was uh, how in the world did you two get together? Well, it's actually been really interesting because my dad played for the Giants, and so I know that they definitely crossed paths a few times, and which would mean that I would too. And then I've I've seen Bernie over the years at various events, and then I just got the call, and they asked me to be a part of this. And you know, anything that I can do to lend a hand to to raise awareness for for certain things and to to give a voice to things that might not normally have a voice I want to do and Bernie's passion is just so beautiful to see it's contagious and so I'm really honored that he uh, he asked me to be a part of it so thank you Bernie for asking me I, I really enjoyed it and Bernie for folks that don't know um, you lost your father to this disease that maybe a lot of people not familiar with so ex explain why you ended up you wrote this song as an instrumental tribute uh, years and years ago but uh, uh, but explain to people what uh, what happened with your father yes idiot Pathic pulmonary fibrosis uh, was the disease that took his life away. It's basically a scarring of the lung tissue. Mm -hmm. uh, it uh, limits your ability to breathe mm -hmm. uh, and uh, ultimately, uh, you know, will take your life. It's a terminal disease. My father was misdiagnosed for about five years before somebody came with the right diagnosis. And then we had him for about two or three after that. He was a devastating loss for us. He was my Superman. He was the guy that taught me how to play baseball, taught me my first chords and my guitar. Mm -hmm. And uh, that song that I wrote, uh, instrumental, uh, in 2001, I thought that, you know, just write it, be grateful. Uh, a tribute to his life and I said well it's gonna have a, a little bit of a time thing and I'm just gonna send it to you to the universe and then uh, after COVID we have uh, this uh, challenge where we send people uh, a note to bring lyrics to the song and make it uh, uh, you know something that they could sing uh, th th we have a, a fellow by the name of David DePino that won that contest, the Bre uh, Breathless Ballad Challenge. Wow. And we put uh, uh, lyrics to the song, and that's when uh, Jordan came wow. uh, to, put, to bring life to those lyrics. And uh, I'm telling you, man, we were just in awe of her presence. It's incredible that 20, a song from 20 years ago uh, that you essentially wrote 20 years ago is getting this kind of life. And Jordan, you have to, you have to tell us here, I, I don't know what might have been on your mind, I don't know how much you knew about about his musical background, but going into a, a studio, doing a performance with a, a baseball legend here, essentially, I guess, what were your expectations? And, uh, and be honest, um, but, <laughs> but how did that work to be vibing with, uh, with Bernie Williams? You know what's incredible? I was just, I was and am so amazed that you, Bernie, just how you 
you put your mind to anything and you just do it. I mean, look, you are a Hall of Famer. You are going to be a Hall of Famer. It's going to be incredible. And you're just, you're an incredible musician. And so being in your presence is also amazing and inspiring. Jordan, and when you, when you were back over here in New York, you make sure you stop by the studio, okay, and see us the next time oh, you're will. over here. Oh, I will. And, and Thank if you. we ever get you two in the studio together, we'll get you to do a song for us. Oh, yes. <laughs> Possibly oh, yes. as well. I uh, love that. But Jordan, always a pleasure. Good to see you, Bernie. Good to have you here in studio. Thank it was you. an Honor, it's going to be a while getting out of here. All of them want pictures with you. Oh, so, uh, man. I'm ready. <laughs> there you go, Larry. That's uh, right. To see the full performance <laughs> of the song Breath of Life, you can head over to goodmorningamerica.com. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.